Hi Sagittarius, it's Lulu, I love with House of Oshun. <clears throat> and today I'm going to do your October monthly, I'm late. <laughs> I'm coming out of a something with Uranus. Uranus was doing something for about 52 days. We should be good until November 24th and then it's going to kick up a whole other notch. That's neither here nor there. Whatever. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising Sagittarius. Okay. Any information that you need will be in the description box. Uh, what else? Oh. <laughs> Thank you for your love and support. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. I really appreciate it. So we're going to start off with your spiritual messages, and we'll cross over to your energy messages for the month of October. This is the Goddess Oracle deck. <clears throat> Angels, what information do you have for Sagittarius for the month of October? 2018. Thank you, darling. All right. Oh, Sagittarius, darling, what y'all going through? All right. So, whatever it is that you have been battling, fighting against, um, it could be court, it could be anything. You, they're, they're just saying here, that the situation will be handled in a fair and just manner, you know. Um, sometimes even when we don't get exactly what we we want out of a situation, it was still fair when you look at things from both sides. Sometimes you got to detach from yourself and see things for what they are. I'm just saying. You're moving into a period of... Um, being able to move forward after whatever it is that you have gone through, you'll be able to... They're, they're just saying that whatever it is that you... Th this new feeling that you are... Like, this thing that you are blossoming into. This new cycle. That's what it feels like. This bright new beginning for you here. <clears throat> they're saying just take your time. You're just getting started. Things are feeling good, looking good. Things are looking up. Um... They just want you to have patience with yourself in the process and do um, do what it takes to get things done. Don't give up on whatever it is that you are moving to, through, or toward, right? They're saying here, there's no need for you to worry. You are supplied for all of your todays and your tomorrows. There's an infinite supply of whatever it is that you want. You just have to know that in your heart that you are what you desire. You know what I mean? You already, you're already, oh, okay, thank you. They may have been nudging you, and your ego may have been saying, ah, oh, hell no, that's impossible, blah, 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 right? But your receptivity needs to, um, you need to open up more so that you can receive more. And this is with your intuition. Some of you may not even trust your intuition on certain things right now. But they want you to know that it's all right. Dolphins. Whatever dolphins mean to you. But I'm seeing here that um, when you open yourself up to receive, this will increase your um, energy, your intuition, as well as your ability to help other people. They're saying that you have the ability to manifest whatever you want into your reality. There's no need for you to um, feel as though you can't be abundant. You can't be prosperous in whatever it is that you seek. It's there. Power of manifestation is yours in the month of October. Some of you may be detoxing, going through a purification uh, stage here. And if you haven't already, that's what they're pushing you toward. Um, it feels as though any harsh relationships, communication, places, situations... It's time to detox because a lot of that is really, um, there's a lot of in outer outside influences on your ability to be receptive. So you have to cleanse in order for you to be a clear channel so that they can provide the information that you need moving forward clearly. You won't question it. You won't doubt it. It's, it's just going to start pouring. You know what it is and you just, you know, y'all are just shit. Some of you, um, they're saying here that they want you to honor the cycles and rhythms of your body 
honor the cycles and rhythms um, of your emotions. Honor the cycles and rhythms of the ebb and flow. Okay? I almost burped. But honor that. Some of you may even become closer to... Um, For those of you who uh, Gaia speaks through you, okay, we really appreciate y'all. Thank you. But it feels like a lot of you will um, have, maybe you're a horti horticulturist. <laughs> what is it called, y'all? I'd be so thankful y'all be in the comments helping me. Whatever, because I'd be fucking up. But um, you're very good with uh, plants, flowers. Um, anything with the environment you're very good with this some of you may even be deciding to um, go green in the month of October really moving toward that I'm also seeing here where let me see what this is there's a lot of purple here that's beautiful injury injury that's beautiful energy maybe some of you are healing from an injury in the month of October right when you thought um, Things couldn't get any get any worse. They got better for you here. All right. I'll take it. <clears throat> for the sorcerers and the sorceress, um, in the month of October, it feels like you will be, uh, well, this is everyone overall, really. But for those of you who really practice, practice, practice your craft and have recently uh, received a huge download regarding um, some new information, which makes you even more powerful, like some gifts that were... Some of your gifts may be um, even more this is moon energy a lot of information from the moon a lot of white light right off on your unicorn I just feel as though those of you who are sorcerers or sorceress, it just feels as though whatever this newness is, it's like you're even more powerful in the month of um, October, especially around the, the moon energy, the moon, the phases of the moon. It's like maybe you work with the phases of the moon. You see, that's what I got. They're saying here in the month of October, it's important for you to express yourself through creative activities. Um, really allow your imagination to flow, um, especially for those of you who may have had writer's block or haven't been very inspired. It just feels as though if you get out and do something, go rock climbing or something. I don't know your life, but it just feels as though you're going to be very, very, you're going to be, um, your inspiration will increase when uh, someone may invite you to an art gallery or something like that. It's like there's something that will be happening where this is going to give you increased um, enthusiasm, optimism towards whatever it is that you want moving into November. All right. Energy Oracle. Energy Oracle. The big girls. Angels, what information do you have for Sagittarius? In the month of October. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Whatever. Ew. Told you. Okay, hold on, y'all. The first thing that I see here is that it's important for you not to be, not to um, allow self-deception. That ego is real strong in here. But try not to allow um, deception, self-deception. Not seeing things for what they are. Talking yourself out of things. Uh, feeling like you can't do this, that, or the other. Because it's like y'all will be questioning y'all's uh, intuition in the month of October. I just keep getting that. It's just early on. It's maybe energy that you're moving out of, okay? Wherever you are on your path. We got time. There are a number of options available to you here in um, October. Some um, options that you, you may have a lot of options available to you. But they want you to take a wider look at things. There, that's that receptivity again, being open to things that are 
um, available to you on in this in your physical reality as well as you know looking at things from your mind's eye because what I'm seeing here is that you're gonna have an aha moment on the options that are available to you let me see what those options are what this may pertain to because overall I do see an earth sign female who has um, is uh, financially stable here that uh, some of you may be having getting an offer from I see a lot of women in this so many of you may be dealing with a number of people going in, in the month of October there's a lot of willing and dealing this deception also crosses two women okay so it could be friends family relationships whatever everything is a relationship to me anyway with your friends that's a relationship with y'all there's a relationship all right what are these options so fire sign and arguing trying to figure out which way to go or how to go it feels like there maybe have been an argument that um has come up between you and um a couple of other people here and you're trying to decide which way uh to go or how to do things it also feels as though with your passions with your path like there's so many different things that you can do you may even be conflicted internally as well on which way to go and how to go about doing things <clears throat> ask yourself what do you desire right now put it out into the universe get those answers baby some of you who um astral travel you will be able to maneuver through the realms to really get the answers that you need um, just be mindful of what you bring back here with you. That's what I heard. Some of you may be dealing with uh, a Pisces, Aries, Leo, any fire signs. Because there's a lot of fire in here. Y'all know y'all fiery. <sighs> but some of you may be uh, relocating or someone is coming to see you from a, uh, that lives at a distance. It just feels like there's a lot of positive movement coming in for you overall. But whoever this is that's coming in, they got their whole bag packed or you got yours packed and it's time to go. Uh, this relocation that may be uh, taking place, some people may be moving on campus here or just deciding to um, deciding to go back to school. And that's where those options also may come from as well. A new job. But there's a lot of adjacent possibilities available to you. It's going to be on you to sit back and relax and be open to receiving the um, information that you need moving forward. I'm seeing here that you will be making a head over heart decision as well. <clears throat> here. <clears throat> there may be um, a fire sign or a water sign female who um, is very intelligent. And they're coming in to help you with some things. Uh, this could be an attorney, a doctor. It's that feel like uh, someone with um they're helping you there someone is helping you here i'm seeing also there's a, a male figure here coming in to offer some sage advice as well whatever it is that they are offering you or this could be you you know standing uh 10 toes down 10 toes down yeah two feet 10 toes down so you may be feeling as though um this new idea, this new way of looking at things, this new approach, that aha moment that you had that brought in positive energy and you're beginning to um, put these things into action here. And it's bringing you a cornucopia of blessings. I really feel as though with you knowing what it is that you want, all this positive energy coming in for you, you're making a decision to move forward. Some of you had a decision to make between two people, places, or things, and you're moving forward here. There's a cornucopia of blessings coming to you. But before you can get to that cornucopia of blessings, again, there's that purification, <clears throat> that detox that needs to transpire because there's a huge download coming in. Before this download, though, I also see here that some of you may be taking a break um, from someone who you may feel like either they lied to you or you lied to them here. And it really feels as though you may have been over, um, either you or this person may have been overthinking. Someone is really stressed out about this um, break. Sagittarius, okay? Someone is really stressed out worrying about where this could possibly go next. I'm seeing here where they are longing to communicate. They are open to discussing things here. And they really want to move forward, right? 
but you're taking a break from them to get your life together is what it feels like. I'm also seeing here that some of you may feel as though you're um, someone who you thought had your back isn't, yeah, this may be love related, but someone who you thought had your back, you just let them go because you feel as, or they let you go because it just feels as though you couldn't take anymore. You didn't know which way to go. And it's coming to a completion though. There's some new things coming in for those of you who broke up with someone. I do feel like you will be reunited by the end of the month. But um, also with the process and the way that it is unfolding in the month of October, um, it feels as though this relationship will go to the next level. Um, this is uh, some soulmate energy, a deep, connect a deep connection here. Excuse me. After the deceit, the betrayal, feeling attacked, powerless, just worry, anxiety, obsession, this huge download comes through. You take a break from everyone. To move forward and then you go into a space of opening yourself up from love from a different perspective because you're open to receiving this newness but at the end of the day i just feel like you will be in a space where you feel like you gave it good effort you gave it a good go now the other way is you may not go back to that person there's someone new coming in right which is a soulmate connection someone that you had bubbling uh this new bubbling feeling of emotion for and um, you finally want to go ahead and uh, be with them. Take this to the next level. And that could be an earth sign here. But some of you are waiting for someone who lives at a distance from you as well. Not meaning to be all over the story. I be all over the story, don't But I love y'all because y'all take what y'all need and lead the rest. Okay. I love it. So much information be coming through shit. All right. What is this uh, thinking man, please? Thank you, darling. See, I'm Joe's. I'm not, I shouldn't, I ain't even have to clarify that, but I'm going to tell you what they say here. Now, with this new um, found um, information that you have, this, um, whatever it is that you were waiting on to come in, it came in, and now you see things for what they are, you're going through a rite of passage. It feels like you're um, going from a space of barely getting by to making shit pop. That's where that blossoming comes in. I'm telling you, just take your time. It's just thought. But I feel as though some of you are moving away from your old ways, detaching from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. You're seeing things clearly. Some of it may be painful, but you are moving forward. I'm seeing where some truths, truths, <laughs> shit, some truths were revealed here and um, you're ready to create a new beginning. You're not just necessarily, you're detaching from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. Um, you are aware that um, it feels like you're not leaving any stone unturned before you make this journey forward. Ooh, my skull crawling. I got the crawl. <laughs> I like it. All this information coming in. <clears throat> but it feels like you are just, you know, moving forward. You're leaving shit behind that no longer serves you. You're detaching here. It just feels as though there's mental clarity. Some things are revealed to you and there's mental clarity. Both of these are like, bye. I'm, I'm tearing my ass. I got to go, right? It's time for me to move on. It's time for me to graduate, okay? This the, I ain't got time for this shit. When you ain't got time for this shit, you turn, bye. If you need me, call me, right? Make sure that it's, make sure I'm your last resort, but make sure that you call me if you need me. That's it right here. I got things to do, right? This that we out this bitch. Like, I'm out this bitch. Me and my me, my husband, and my children, we out this bitch. So some of you will be relocating is what I feel here. Whatever Sagittarius. Let's see. What is this deception? I have to. Let me let me say something real quick, y'all. I've been wanting to do y'all and Aquarius' reading for the past couple of days. But every time I was trying to sit down and do y'all read, I have to use the restroom. Now I'm doing your reading and I, you know what I mean? I know it's too much information, but this is the House of Oshun. This is ridiculous. What is this deception, please? Maybe coming from an Aries or someone in a power, um, a powerful position, someone who is trying to... This is the person that you're taking a break from, it feels like, some Aryan energy. Or whoever this is, someone older than you that you don't want to... Um, you listen to them long enough. Some of y'all just telling y'all daddy what it is. You know what, daddy? This 2018, okay? What happened back in the 40s and the 50s, you need to catch up. Or just sit your ass on your throne 
and chill out. What is this deception? <clears throat> yep. It feels like that's y'all popping up. What is this deception? Poor Sagittarius. It feels like um, many of you are just trying. Yep, y'all walking away from an Aryan, period. Y'all walking away from uh, trying. You just went ahead. You know, there, it may have been tumultuous. You may have found out what was going on. You ain't got time for it. And you just like, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to balance this shit out. Get my life together and bye, right? You are really turning your back on someone who it feels like they are in a space of uh, feeling like they knew what was right for you, but there was some deception, some lies, betrayal. What is this earth sign? I see you really bringing in a lot of self-love, really opening up by the end of the month to love, really taking um, action when it comes to this blessing that is being bestowed upon you. Uh, white butterflies are your um, key as well. Dolphins and white butterflies, baby. But a lot of light is being reflected on harvest season, right? Many of you, whatever it is that you are just getting started on, may, may it be a relationship, job, or what have you, a creative project, it feels like by the month of November, you go ahead and take action in the, uh, by the end of um, October, and I feel like I really feel like your time uh, to shine is going to be November. I mean, y'all shining all day, every day, right? But whatever this is that you are beginning in October, it's going to really uh, pay off. You'll see the fruits of your labor um, faster than what you thought. <clears throat> that it would manifest in front of you after you get out of denial. Come out of denial. Denial. <laughs> this is our sign. Some of you have a motherly figure here that um, there may, may be some forgiveness moving forward. But whoever it is, um, there's a new beginning with this person. It feels like you will be able to grow and expand with this person. It feels as though they want. There's you're showing them that you are down for the cause. Here's the thing. There's an offer being made. Um, it could be a job offer. Somebody could be offering you their body by the end of October. But at the end of the day, I'm just seeing here where you will be taking a more realistic approach with this person or them to you. They may have so many things um, going on or you will be having, one of you will be having so many things going on by the end of the month <clears throat> that don't know which way to go or how to go so just taking one thing at a time whoever this is like the seed has been planted and they want to move forward but there's also deception crossing this person there's a lot of cross action shit here going on but it could easily be self-deception as well have temperance this is y'all popping up in y'all own shit don't nobody do it better than fire signs oh okay yeah, some of you are balancing things out by the end of the month. You're dropping someone um, for someone else. You're realizing what it is that you want, but you may be rejected by an earth sign or rejecting an earth sign. At the end of the day, um, it feels like you will be learning from your pain and sorrow, really seeing things for what they are. Any setbacks, you will realize that they are um, grounds for a major comeback. But I do see that whatever this, uh, whatever it is that you buried, the pinnacle that you buried at the beginning of the month, what you put out, and they gave you all this information in the month of, what was that, September, <sighs> you are ready to grow. Um, you may not be very familiar. Your plans may be in the infancy stage, but you are still moving toward them. It feels like you have a plan and you're moving toward it here. So there will be expansion. There will be growth. Someone is committing to a person, place, or a situation. I don't love them. All right, Sagittarius, I got to go. Woo!